Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here or if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So today it's gonna be uh, an unboxing video because um, um, I ended up getting uh, a new easel, yay! So um, I thought I'd do an unboxing and share it with you guys. Um, this is the easel right here and it's the uh, Saxon Liar easel from Curry's Art Store, which is a, a local art store here in um, Toronto. So um, yeah, if you're if you live here here in Toronto, you're probably familiar with uh, Curry's. Um, it, it's a really great store. I always order from them. Very reliable, and yeah. So I thought I'd just share it with you guys, and basically I'll share with you as well my first impression of it and yeah and then well first off we'll assemble it together hopefully my husband can help me out because uh if you guys have seen my uh pushad box video where i made my own pushad box i'm not the handiest person so anyways yeah see ya So I think I'm gonna have to watch uh, a YouTube video first because this came with no instructions So I'll see if I can find a YouTube video about its construction and then I'll be right back Side, I don't know. Or maybe like this. I don't know. So we have these two extra parts. It's pretty much done. But we have these two extra parts that we don't know what it's for. So I'll see if I can find some videos. But for now, this easel is functioning. Okay. Hi. So this is it. The final... Uh, the final assembled easel. The Saxon Liar easel. Alright. So, okay. It is a lot heavier. This is my old one here, which is just a basic uh, tripod easel beside it. So now this is the one that'll be my major studio easel, I guess. So just to show you guys, make sure this is loose. So there's um, a latch back here that let me go up and down. Well, it's a lot heavier than what I used to have. So this is like a, a 9 by 12 we'll easy fit that and then I have your have your one. I guess yeah, yay. Then I guess just to move this part here uh, on a more 90 degree angle. This one here. Let's see. I have to figure it out. Let's slide it back. Back and forth. Ah. Okay. 
they have to play around with it. But I have to make sure that the the knob at the back is loose when I have to bring it up and down. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot heavier. Eh. Anyways, first impression. So the assembly itself, because um, the instructions are not that clear. Oh my god, two out of five for the instructions. Um, we actually had to go to a YouTube video even with the instruction sheet um, just so that we could figure out where some parts would go so yeah like the instruction is basically just one page like that so it's not very clear so that uh, I'm not very happy but uh, the actual uh, the actual easel itself it seems really sturdy a lot heavier than what I'm used to and I still have to play around with it so that um, I can figure out how to um, let's see if I can do this now. yeah see so it goes like that because so because this is also recommended for uh, people who work with pastel so you can do a vertical oh there you go <laughs> so this one slides back like that if you want it more forward so you can have your your easel in a 90 degree angle I guess but then if you want to move it back so it's leaning back a bit more than this one here just go like that still have to figure out how to make this go up and down easier because see I can move it down a lot easier than moving it up there we go uh. okay all right so i am quite happy with the easel itself uh four out of five i'm gonna give it so hopefully this will be my easel for a long time like this um original one i had which is just a cheap tripod one i also got from curry's a while back like oh my god uh 2015 i think and it's lasted me all this year so um yeah so i'm hoping this will last me a few years if not forever because I don't I don't really like <laughs> switching stuff around too much especially if I get used to something so yeah anyways um as always if you guys have any questions please feel free to comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe bye